I'm an intersex in Nigeria and I advocate for intersex persons. Intersex is not a taboo. Intersex is not a disease. Intersex is not an abnormality. Intersex is a gift from God. We exist and we should not be discriminated or stigmatized by our community, by our government and people around us. Before I know say I've been intersex person. People don't they call me woman when they do like man. You know, and it don't they happen for a very long time. I am a rem one of them. I put them on pen one. Bunji Motabum. When I grew small, I asked my mother, What is this? Some You Me until when I grew small, then obam the situation and close with me. So after twelve years, obam gone over. Especially hospital. So, doctor, where, when in a child, where's my mom? You have to room in the house. If I do operation, I will die. Uh, the thing will cause problem for me. So, that's why my mother left to carry me go house. Yeah. Um, surviving as an sex person has not been easy. That's really, that's really been um, a tough experience and a tough um, moment because I wasn't raised like that. I wasn't brought up as a male, but you know, I have to find myself in the manhood and surviving, growing up as a man, navigating through the challenges of, of life, you know, experiences, you know, People, you have to just meet up with the standard of, of a man in the community, in the environment, whereby people see a man, man in you, whereby we take responsibility, take action. It has not been easy. Life started uh, setting in in my adolescent age when I was in secondary school. In my early days, my JS1, JS2, JS3, thereabouts, I started having serious pain in my stomach and the pain wasn't going anywhere. My parents were worried even because you know I went to a boarding school of all girls and I went to sick bay, they gave me a lot of drugs, nothing was changing. I went to hospital, my dad had to come, I remember that point my dad had to come, take me to hospital, do some tests, but I wasn't asking so much about what was because as a child now what will you you just want to get better that's your own a lot of things happened you know, from my primary school to secondary school um they gave us sanitary pad then i never knew what it was so i came back home i was literally asking my sister what did they use this thing for i they gave it to us i don't know what they use it for she was like, hey, bring it, bring it. You are not meant to use it. I said, why well, I'm not meant to use it? They gave it to me. They said, I am a girl. They look at me like I'm a girl. So why are you saying I cannot use it? And they say that if you reach this age, you are meant to be. And I'm more than that age. So what is that? That means something is wrong. Or are you not going to tell me? So she was like covering up, covering up. It's a very difficult task for me in the beginning of my life. Not until Timo discover because Nibba and Mori Orishi Penija 
I buy especially bad money. Live here, co. I yalla co bere. Titi wo. Live here, co. Eh, grandma. So, only she she pay ni jalo wa. Kote doji pay momo. Ke moje intercept person. So, mori only she she pay ni jago. To je pay oh, some di like oh some di rei. To je pay mi oh ni bag boni no arame. Oni low self esteem from me. So. Oli shiri shiri lo ma wasi mi lokon. I like playing football. Munga munga mini festival because ab mo ena ab na babo. Munga mini festival no worry. So, na bath, na na bedroom. Is it all general bedroom? So all of all everybody, do, we are bathing. So I'm not know where my opponent beside me. Look my distance. I don't know. So later, now this course, now this course, now who stay? And then around now, no, this thing have this girl, this girl have this, this girl have this, this girl. Ah, you see, you see, this girl is not, is not a, is not a girl. It's a boy. You, this, this girl have, they have something. You know, it, 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 it's like, like penis. Ah, I'm too worried. I'm very, very worried. So, now I'm, now I'm, I'm now I'm, i So, when, 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 but as you know. I was very annoyed. So, I said, I hear him. I said, ah, who they talk this kind of thing? Who they talk this kind of thing? Who they talk this kind of thing? Who talk this kind of thing now? I said, go sit down. Go sit down. I said, okay. I beg, no talk this kind of thing now. No talk now. Why are you going to talk like this? So, let alone, my coach called me. I just don't know the Ajuja now. What I go, say the truth. I'm going to demand. Say yes. I'm in I say, oh. oh, sorry. Sorry. It's okay, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. So that's all. That if some mother see you with their daughter, they will say, make you no know, come one day if my daughter grow, they, they do like man. So the that kind of talk they make me go down. So I always they comfortable. If I deal with guys with the play ball or with the talk. Right now, I do survive as an intercess person because I don't know who I be. And it makes me strong that if I want to do this, I know, say, there is people where they look up. Maybe intercess person will never know themselves. So I will have to keep on pushing to overcome some things to make me strong day by day. Yeah, there was no side talk among my family, but there is no side talk among my mates. Yes, because my parents, when I was growing up, my parents now allow me to play with some kids. You know, they try protecting me to the extent that my mom has to come to my primary school to start teaching there just to make sure I'm safe. They transferred her to my primary school just to make sure I'm safe, not to because childhood playing in primary school. And I know Dr. Shigaraka, I may do this one, but I may this one. So all those things will eventually showcase you or expose you to people. So I was just always, it's either I'm with her or just in class, not trying to do anything. And still during my secondary school, I still have to present myself very, very well. I um, 
triplet. Mon mon triplet. So, mon I saw I'm an intersex a person. So, I asked my mother, what of, this, what of my twins? And I want this kind of a thing. Why? So, I saw this thing. I'm, I mean, I saw myself, I'm an intersex person. I was very annoyed. So, when I grew, I'm going to play. So, one person, I'm going to play. Why? Look at this thing. Is it penis or what? I don't know. 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 What? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So when I grow up, I went to school. You know, my life the different with others. So that's all. I wouldn't say they have treated me fairly because even from growing up, even from family, knowing that I look different. Now I look. I, some people can see me now, and even now people still sometimes don't know where to classify me. Sometimes somebody address me, sir, ma, or this boy, girl. Sometimes they'll ask, are you a boy, are you a girl? Uh, I remember one experience growing up that a guy was passing and grabbed, touched me by my chest. That touch was not like sexual harassment. He turned and said, I just wanted to confirm if you're a girl or if you're a boy. Yeah, that happened when I was around 13, 14. Before now, I was assigned as a female and it has been very difficult for me because I withdraw myself from people, from gathering of people because when two or three people are gathered, I used to withdraw myself because of the shame and a lot of questions being asked. So it makes me uh, it made me uh, came out low in school because I couldn't concentrate with my education. I come to a state that I have to withdraw myself from secondary school because of the shame and because of the the bullying and so on and so forth. I want to be a two men, one from Imo, one from Anambra. So I came from marriage. I said no, I won't marry. I won't marry you. I won't marry. I said, why? I said, no problem. I don't want to marry. I was um, called Esther. My first name is Esther. So, you know, when I go to the community, I go out in the community and they ask me, what's your name? I said, my name is Esther. I'll be like, Esther. Does it mean be Esther? Even in the church, in the community, even among um, um, my friends, even in the medical settings, it has not been easy. You know, obtaining my legal documents, packing them up, changing the names, it has not been easy. Or you enter a gathering uh, of spaces of different people and you understand that when people get to know that you are an intersex person, they accept you without judging you, just the way they will accept, ah, this is a female, this is a male. Or maybe I have a different gender identity, maybe as a non binary because I am a non-binary person, my pronouns are they, them. There are no provisions for that in this country for you to say, okay, you're a non-binary person or identify or my passport or my identity carries. But my identity still carries female. So it's problematic. There are no there are no policies, there are no laws that can help you to navigate. Or instead the laws that and policies are there are the ones that will make you infringe on your rights, that will give people right to, you know make people want to stigmatize against you, have the right to stigmatize. You know, when laws and policies are giving people rights to stigmatize, that is what we have here. There is a doctor I met, he was like, and we need to see your parents before we can do anything. That then there is, they have done you surgery because I was open, I opened myself to the doctor. So, but then during that, that's at my age, that then I know, all the surgeries, I know I was going to hospital. I'm not my guy hospital, I need a surgery. But it won't make it cover, we do surgery over. It won't make it say, nah, all we do now. It had a be here. So I involved my parents and went back, called them. 
So when I called them, they already knew. They was like, you even need to come back, that we have been waiting for this, that they have not even seen this type of thing. So the doctor, they started using me as trial and error till this stage. So all the surgery they were doing, they are not sure of what they are doing. But my parents, I'm not going to blame them because they were doing everything possible to make sure I'm fine. And it ended up, all the surgeries was very, very harmful. Yeah, I have to say. It's important that the medical school here in Nigeria and also across the world starts researching and working with intercess community to understand us, putting it in their curriculum to make the young generation of doctors, even the old ones too, to understand intercess bodies, to understand what it really means to be intercess, not on just on the surface, to use the lived experiences, connecting with intercess persons, intercess activists, asking us questions, working with us. Because when you are trying, as a doctor, as a medical professional, you want to give your patient the best treatment. You want to give your patient the best information that you have. And treatment is not only when you give them medicine. Treatment is also when you advise them correctly, giving them the right information that they need. Um, life has been so good a little bit for me because I have to be a little bit more intercess people. Near you come, see more the Belisin talk with me, maybe intersect with Pushy Jenny, Nigeria. So, a sign but more discover intersects Nigeria. So, you know me do because more pay a minute call me more one name. I am so you must run when you're telling me. I'm so happy with it and I'm good. Intersects Nigeria, you know. They will keep on telling you, be strong, know who you are. That has kept me going. That makes me to be very, very strong now. Yeah, meeting intersex community, intersex Nigeria, really, really changed my life. Because I now have to be like, okay, I'm not alone. I would like the government to look into the unnecessary and unconsensual medical interventions like the intercess genital mutilation that a lot of intercess babies and adolescents pass through because that um, that medical procedure that is unconsensual and uh, necessary causes a lot of harm to our body and it also violates our bodily autonomy and integrity as a person we should have right to choose what happens to our body so I want the government to look into that, to be able to bring up policies, laws that will ban, that will ban um, intercess genital mutilation and unnecessary medical interventions on intercess persons in Nigeria. What we really want, like government to give us free access, let people know that intercess exists, you know. We want them to, you know, we want to have a a, a data or statistics of every intersex child that is being born. And also in all our ID cards, you know, NIN, uh, passports, all these things have to be indicated that there are people like this, we exist and we cannot be denied our rights. Also, you know, the last census they did in Nigeria, um, I was counted as a female, yes, but I'm not. You have the ability to live your potentials and nobody can stop you. What I feel is happening is fear. The fear of what will people say about me. If you can conquer that fear and accept yourself the way you are and live your life, let it be like it's more of, I want to get this, I want to get employed, I want to get into school, that is a problem. Then find the community of your kind. Intercess Nigeria is here. We have intercess persons around different places. Just a click will be here for you. And we have met a lot of intercess people that are not living their full potentials because they came in contact with us, they discussed with us, they found out that actually what people are saying is a taboo, is a cause, is a blessing. So what I will tell you is that you're a blessing, nothing is wrong with you. All you have to do is take that bold step. You just, you just need one bold step 
to communicate. You mustn't talk to Intercess Nigeria if you don't feel comfortable, but I would advise you, speak to us if you need advice, if you need information, a click away. But see yourself as all you need. You are not less a human being than any other person. My name is Obioma Chupike. I am a human rights activist and intersex rights activist. I'm also an environmental technician and consultant. Oh my, if I move, I'm a bomb bongo. I'm a yin nugu. I'm intersex. My name is Ugula Vechiso. I'm a blogger. I love cooking. I love traveling, and also. I was born an intercept. My name is Akine Biri Mide Rafe, formerly known as Akine Biola Juma Keribeka. I'm, I'm an intercept person and I'm from Osho State. My name is Tose Ondulami. I am an intersex person. I'm based in Nigeria and I'm from Ogo State. My name is Chamaka. But friends, they like call me Don. And now here I do work. I'm from Imo State and I'm, I'm an intercess person. We are a gift from God and we are proud. Intersex and proud. <laughs> <laughs>